And the dispatch today, um, I think, honored Martin Luther King appropriately by uh, putting up a transcript of a talk Martin Luther King gave um, on, um, in, in uh, September 12th, 1962, in New York City. And this was at the, um, what was it, 100th, 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's issuing his preliminary, preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, right? So this is uh, Free the Slaves, and this is 100th anniversary, and this is in the midst of the Civil Rights Movement, and this is before the Civil Rights Act. And um, it, is, uh, it is a, uh, I think, a magnificent speech. Agree or disagree with aspects of it. I agree with most of it, um, or almost all of it. This is a magnificent speech, and it's a speech that I wish somebody, anybody, left, right, center, in America today would be able to deliver even a fragment of a speech like this. So I want to read a little bit of it to you because I think, I, I think gives you, this gives you a flavor of Martin Luther King. It also gives you a flavor of the intellectuality of an era long gone, uh, long gone from our shores, unfortunately. Uh, so these are, these are segments. I encourage you to read the whole thing. Again, this is um, uh, Abraham Lincoln issuing his preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, 100 years, September 12, 1962, Martin Luther King. And I'm reading it to you, right? If our nation had nothing more in its whole history than to create just two documents, its contribution to civilization would be imperishable. The first of these documents is the Declaration of Independence, and the other is that which we are here to honor tonight, the Emancipation Proclamation. All tyrants, past, present, and future, are powerless to bury the truths in these declarations, no matter how extensive their legions, how vast their power, and how malignant their evil. The Declaration of Independence proclaimed to the world organized politically and spiritually around the concept of the inequality of man and the dignity of human personality was inherent in man as a living being. The Emancipation Proclamation was the offspring of the Declaration of Independence. It was a constructive use of the force of law to uproot a social order which sought to separate liberty from a segment of humanity. Our pride and our progress would be unqualified if the story ended here. But history reveals that America has been a schizophrenic personality where these two documents are concerned. On the one hand, she has proudly professed the basic principles inherent in these, in both documents. On the other hand, she has sadly practiced the antithesis of these principles. The unresolved race question is a pathological infection in our social and political anatomy, which has sickened us throughout our history and is still today a largely untreated disease. Now, remember, this is 1962. I'm going to skip a section here, but, but he goes into the social ills and, and he talks about how uh, you know, they affect not, you know, the, 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 the discrimination, the racism, the institutionalized racism not only affects uh, black Americans, but affects the whites as well, that affects all aspects of society. Uh, I think he does it quite effectively. And he says, this sober picture may induce the sober thought that there is nothing to commemorate about the centennial of the Emancipation Proclamation. But tragic disappointments and undeserved defeats do not put an end to life, nor do they wipe, wipe out the positive. However submerged, it may have become beneath floods of negative experience. Then he goes on. When Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, it was not the act of an opportunistic politician issuing a hollow pronouncement to placate a pressure group. Our true great presidents were tortured deep in their hearts by the race question. Jefferson was keen perception, saw that the festering sore of slavery debilitated white masters as well as the Negro. 
He feared for the future of white children who were taught a false supremacy. His concern can be summed up in one qu quotation, quote, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just. Uh, and finally, he ends this, and I'm skipping some stuff which I encourage you to read because it's, it's first of all, he's a beautiful writer, as you know, beautiful uh, uh, speech delivery, but um, there's a lot of good content here. I'll just end with these two paragraphs. The Negro will never cease his struggle to commemorate the Emancipation Proclamation by making his emancipation real. If enough Americans in numbers and influence join him, the nation we both labor to build may yet realize its glorious dream. There is too much greatness in our heritage to tolerate the pettiness of race hate. The Declaration of Independence and the Emancipation Proclamation deserve to live in sacred honor. Many generations of Americans suffered, bled, and died confident those who followed them would per persevere, oh, sorry, would preserve the purity of our ideals. Negroes have declared that they will die if need be for these freedoms. All Americans must enlist in a crusade finally to make the race question an ugly relic of a dark past. When that day dawns, the Emancipation Proclamation will be comm commemorated in luminous glory. Um, not only is he a brilliant orator and, and, a, and, a, and a, just a, a beautiful writer, uh, you know, he is here, uh, you know, commemorating and celebrating the Declaration of Independence, the, 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 the Lincoln's proclamation, in spite of the fact that, you know, uh, blacks continue to suffer in this country post-slavery. He realizes the necessity of the ideas, the, the truth, the fundamental truth in the ideas of the Declaration and the ideas of the Proclamation. Now, granted, Martin Luther King was not consistent in its application of the ideas of the Declaration to all his views, but wow. I mean, who speaks this eloquently today? Who speaks of the founding principles today? Who talks about the Declaration of Independence today, left or right? Who talks about these two, uh, these two documents being the greatest uh, uh, documents in American history? Uh, so, I, you know, I found this particularly beautiful. It's an illustration of, of, of I think, how, um, uh, how impressive Martin Luther King was. Uh, if, you know, I think we, we've reached uh, a day in America, at least we are closer to that day that he longs for, uh, for true emancipation in America uh, because, to a large extent, because of him, because uh, that he stood up and he fought uh, uh, for these ideas. Again, you could find inconsistencies. You can find things that we disagree with him on. But his virtues, I think, here way outweigh his vices and as compared to civil rights, so-called civil rights leaders today, as compared to those fighting against discrimination or racism today, uh, he is a giant, a giant. Uh, so happy Martin Luther King Day. I, I, I think he deserves it. Um, and uh, and it's, it's a good day to remember uh, the dangers of racism, the evil of racism, uh, the legacy of racism, which I think is still with us uh, on all sides of the political spectrum, and that we need to continuously fight, we need to continuously be vigilant about whether that racism manifests itself on left or on right, it doesn't matter. It is something we, as the standard bearers of individualism and Americanism, must fight. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.